Shalom, shalom, people of God. My name is Brenda and today I want to firstly honor my spiritual father, the prophet of God, for this opportunity to bring us our prophetic nugget for the day. The title of our devotional today is You Are Christ's Vision. Yesterday, I remember, we talked about the exploits that God did using Moses in the land of Egypt. And if you want to re-listen to the devotional of yesterday, the title of that devotional was The Voice of the Blood. Today, um, we are talking about your Christ's vision. So, in this devotional, we shed some light on very powerful teachings that our man of God taught us. These teachings were also observed by the servant of God, Joshua, who was Moses' successor, to lead the children of Israel to the promised land. Joshua had observed a pattern with Moses and Aaron on how God used them and how the powerful dimension of silence worked miracles for the children of Israel. Because he saw that the method worked, the book of Joshua chapter 6 verse 10 we are going to read. Now Joshua had commanded the people saying, You shall not shout or make any noise with your voice, nor shall a word proceed out of your mouth until the day I say to you, shout, then you shall shout. Hallelujah. Why these six days? Because man was made on the sixth day, signifying the creation of the first Adam. But Joshua had to prophesy of the coming of the second Adam, who was the lamb. That's such a powerful revelation. Remember, Jericho was a city where there were all sorts of divination, all sorts of enchantment, and every kind of evil. Hence, this city could not be conquered physically. It had to be conquered spiritually first. The blood had to speak through the silence dimension. This is also why the archangel Michael had to appear to Joshua before they went. And he told him that the battle was not his but the Lord's. This revelation advances us to the times of Christ. Whereby during the Passover, Jesus went to the grave. And we all know that the grave is a place of silence, right? From where he landed in hell... It wasn't silent, for he went liberating men and set, setting captives free. In your life, things may look silent, as if they are not moving. But let me tell you, the voice of the blood is speaking. The Bible says, the vision will speak at the end. For a Christian, the day the vision begins to speak is the day that you are dead. So when did a Christian die? When he received the Lord Jesus in their heart. The Bible says in the book of Galatians chapter 2 verse 20, I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Hallelujah. So automatically, the vision has started speaking. It means your life is the vision of Christ. Hallelujah. I want to repeat that again. It means your life is the vision of Christ. And Christ is the vision of God the Father. So, the vision of Christ is what speaks in your life. It is the higher vision at work in you. Because your own died when you received Jesus Christ. This is why you are unstoppable and you are unlimited. Hence, prophesy into your life right now and decree and declare that the Lord aligns your life and that the vision of the Lord is what speaks powerfully today. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want to uh, ask you to join me as we make our prophetic decree. Repeat after me. Say, Holy Father, thank you for opening my eyes concerning my state in Christ Jesus. I affirm that Christ in me, the hope of glory. My life is filled with all colors of your glory and the manifestation of your victories. Because the life I live is not my own but yours. In Jesus' name, 
Amen. Hallelujah. Just take a moment and meditate on this devotional as you speak in other tongues, as you pray in your own language, and affirm what we have affirmed so that this, this message can rubber stamp in your spirit as you go about your business today, that it will sink deep in you in Jesus' name. Rebabosh kapare kaskale bada, repes katade bazeka rabaga. Father, we affirm that your vision speaks louder in our lives. We affirm, O oh God, that we are led in victories untold. In the name of Jesus, we affirm that our going out and coming in is blessed today. Even as we meditate on this devotional today, we affirm that Rema words are, are spoken in our spirits by your spirit. In the name of Jesus, and as we speak these Rema words, oh, paths of victory are paved for us. In the name of Jesus, we can never be defeated. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Child of God, I believe that that devotional has blessed you from our man of God. Uh, and I believe that as you continuously meditate on it, words of victory will be placed in your mouth like never before. So, child of God, you can join us for our further study today. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 3 says, For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end, it will speak and it will not lie though it tarries wait for it because it will surely come it will not tarry what a, such a powerful affirmation that the lord jesus is giving us concerning the vision that he has given us it will surely come to pass amen those prophecies that you have been declaring that the man of god has poured out to you over the years they will surely come to pass in jesus name first corinthians chapter 15 verse 57 says but thanks be to god who gives us the victory through our lord jesus christ such a powerful scripture acts chapter 17 verse 28 says for in him we live and move and have our being as also some of your own poets have said for we are also his offspring Hallelujah. Thank you so much, child of God, for joining us for our prophetic nugget today. we we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you so much, and I want to still encourage you to meditate on these scriptures throughout your day. God bless you. Shalom, shalom. Shalom.